course, our man with analyst and of course color play is Joel James. And Joel James, of course, a student at St. Jago High. Former, former, former student. student at St. Jago High, yeah. And uh, a young lady from GC Foster College will be joining us later on to lend some voice to or some other voices uh, to the commentary. Today we have Wilmers versus Knox. What type of final are you expecting? Knox, the rural champion. Wilmers, of course, they are the urban champions. Knox is the defending champion of the All Island. Today they clash for glory. Yes, we, we expect a, a tantalizing match. As you know, Knox is the defending champions and Wilmers is no stranger to the All Island finals. Very competitive match we expect. So earlier we had the playing of the school anthem of Wilmers. Now we listen to the anthem, the school anthem of Knox. Okay, so the school anthem of Knox College out of the way. Knox, they hail from Clarendon. And of course, Wilmers girls, they hail from Hero Circle. So we'll get the lineups on the screen for you. We say good afternoon, good evening, or good night. And uh, Joel James, of course, is with us. Yours truly, Dwight Fraser. The lineup on the screen, Woolmers. Kayla Luars is the captain. She wears number 15. Number 19 is Syra Pinnock. Tatanda Buford wears number 12. Number 9 is Talia Johnson. Ashley Wright in the lineup, 13. Number 11 is Patrina Chisholm. 5, Samantha Blackwood. 16 is DeAndre Bennett. Imani Wint wears number 1. Rashida Gordon, 4. Kimara McDonald, number 2. Number 14 is Tajane Jones. And Jade Jones wears number 8. Of course, uh, O'Neill Banks is the head coach, assisted by Stika Savada and Kendra Mackenzie is the manager. So you're expecting then, Mr. James, uh, a, a big final between these two. Absolutely right. Knox has been having a phenomenal uh, season this year. 
to get into this finals, they defeated St. Diego High. It's the other formidable, formidable team. And as we know, Woolmers came out of the urban zone as the zone winners and the zone finalists. So we expect this match to be very interesting, very hot. We will see if Knox can defend their title or if Woolmers will continue the tradition of continuously winning the All-Ireland female title. And uh, funny you would say that, uh, Joel, because in consulting Onili Banks, a good friend of mine, the head coach of Wilmers, he said that he's going for title number 27. Look at that. Yes, no shock to me, you know. I, I, I've, I've seen Wilmers in many All-Island finals, so I'm not really surprised, and I'm looking forward to this match. We will see if Coach Rose will have something to say about this. Coach, Ro Coach Rose has some splendid females ready to fight in this finals. And those splendid females, as Joel said, we saw them last week in the Urban Final where they became champions. Knox College lineup led by Abija Wallace as captain. She wears number four. Number seven is Tashari Gordon. Wearing number eight, Ali McLeod. Number nine, Tejuan Taylor. Ten is Bridget Lee. Tamoy Stewart wears number six. Zoya Kalme, three. Kalia Cohen, 14. Number five is Mia Jarrett. And wearing number one is Kaylee Tracy. Colin Rose, as uh, our co-commentator said, is a coach. And, uh, of course... Coach Barnaby as the assistant. Yes. And uh, Kara Thompson, the manager. So we'll be... Okay, so we're going five sets, and who, whosoever wins three sets will, of course, win this matchup. And they're going 25 per set. Yes. Unlike the exhibition game we saw earlier, uh, Joel, where I think it was the urban coaches defeated the rural coaches. Yes. The urban coaches were also the winners of the exhibition match last year. So as you said, the urban coaches won this year, but for the female match, we'll be going to 25 points first to 25 and the first team to win the first three sets wow so we're expecting exciting action here on isa sports tv and we'll tell you again that the the officials are russell artwell and seymour lanaman and of course the scorer joel is brianna harrison brianna harrison yes so we're expecting a tough matchup on our hand, as Joel said before. Because, Joel, you would have seen many moons as it regards an All-Island final here at GC Foster College. Uh, yes, I, I, I have seen Woomers be very dominant, very triumphant, and very a very aggressive team when it comes on to the female All-Island finals. But the new upcomer, Knox College, as we said, they were the defending champions last year, are going to show their aggression as well. I remember a few years ago as well to Joel, there was a team out of St. Mary, or I think it was St. Anne, um, who had done well, Orakabessa, Orakabessa, yes. Um, uh, did they feature much this year? Um, Orakabessa was in the, the zone with Knox and St. Jago. Unfortunately, they did not make it to the, uh, uh, the finals in the urban area. So they did not actually get the chance to even compete yes. um, in this um, All-Island Finals. Yes. But Araka Bessa was and still is a good team, but they just aren't here in this um, 2024 ISA Championship. Okay, so the championship, as Joel explained, Fisher Wilmers up against Knox on the girls' side. Later on, we should have Jamaica College versus St. Jago. No, Joel, that will be a humdinger. Yes, yes, we're excited to see that. Uh, Jamaica College was actually in the finals for last year. They went up against Wilmer's boys and Wilmer's boys took the championship um, last year. So we have the runner-ups, Jamaica College versus a former champion, yes. St. Diego High School. Wow. So we're expecting a tough battle later on, as explained by Joel, with the teams now being introduced. Tashari, she gave an interview last week. Oh, yes. Yeah, a leader by example. Definitely. She, of course, 
the athlete there uh, who wears number four, Khadija Wallace Seta. Yes. She's the smallest of them all. But they say it's not by size that you win or fail, be the best of what you are. Oh, definitely. Don't let the size fool you. She has been doing phenomenal work setting. She's the playmaker on her side. The setters are a crucial part of the game. And without them, the outside hitters can't really execute a heavy hit. Well, let us see what will transpire in this one. We know all too well the fact that Wilmers, they pack a heavy punch in so far as experience is concerned, especially with their coach. Mr. O'Neill Banks, who comes across now to shake hands with Mr. Rose. But neither school will be going away from this battle, Joel. We're expecting it to go all the way. Oh, yes, we're expecting it. If both teams are on fire, we will expect a hot fifth set, five set games. And that way, in the fifth set, it's, it's actually up to 15 and not 25. But that is only if each team, both teams, are locked, are are locked in. Yes, yes. We'll wait to see how much they will be locked in, if at all. But we can guarantee you that this one will be exciting. It's the Eastern National Under-19 Volleyball Championship. And it is Wilmers in the Burgundy and Gold. And of course, Knox in red and black shorts. They go to in uniform black sneakers with the red stockings. And their coach, Mr. Rose, had a final talk with them as they get set to go in this contest. The action is at GC Foster College. And Knox off and running with the first serve. Wilmer's doing well. Good effort and a mistake at the time of cost Knox an early point. Oh, yes. That, that was a, a defensive error by uh, the Knox player. Um, Wilmer's got the ball over to keep the ball in play, but Knox just couldn't contain it. It's the first point to Wilmer's. And Wilmer's will now serve through... Captain Loars, good effort in the front court. Oh, good push that time. And Wilmers getting themselves in trouble as well. Ah, uh, expect number seven, Tashari Garden. You will expect to hear her name consistently. She's a phenomenal outside hitter. Yes. And Tashari Garden, of course, up against the Nets. For Knox, with of course uh, Wallace, the setter, in the backcourt, getting ready now to serve for Knox. No wonder they're tied as both teams are almost even in terms of talent. Wilmers, oh, that was a, a beautiful service ace from uh, the setter, Wallace. Wallace. Wilmers couldn't really contain the serve. Yes. And not very often do you see those kind of serve where an experienced Wilmers team can't contain and knocks the lead at the moment. Wilmers hoping to keep it in. Pushed over. Oh! But it falls outside. Yeah, and that was an error by Imani. She's in the pass. But it seems like the, the serves from Knox is just a little bit too hard. Yes. Uh, too hard for Wilmers to contain. A good start for Knox so far in this contest. Let us see if Wilmers can respond. Hoping to block, but it goes too far, that one. Of course, that return fell beyond the baseline. Yes, I know the attacking error for Wilmers. This is a little bit un uncharacteristic. Of Wilmers. Of Wilmers. Yes. But Knox will take full advantage of their mistakes. Long range serve. Bulmers trying to keep it in. Ashari with that one pushed over the net. Oh, the blocker got a fingertip to it, but it was not enough. Yes, it wasn't enough. And it fell on the side of Knox, giving Wilmers the point. Yes. Gordon, the number four, she's the middle blocker. She used the Knox block very efficiently. And just to tell you in the event that you're just joining us, you are watching, of course, the Issa All Island on the 19 Volleyball Championship final between Knox and Wilmers.
Wilmans gets the point. A little miscommunication on Knox's team. And we have Patrina from Wilmans at the serving line. Beautiful serve. It's kept in play. Oh! Beautiful pass by Wilmers. What a great strike of the ball that time from Ashari. Wilmers keeping it alive. Wallace with the good defense. Tashari keeps it in play. But it's too much for Knox to handle. Tashari, I thought, did well, Joel, in keeping the ball in play. But Knox just couldn't contain. Oh, yes. Patrina back at the serving line. She has been serving beautifully. Let's see if she can continue this good service streak. Wonderful serve. Also, oh, miscommunication on the Wilmers team. They weren't defending. Even although Patrina gave a really wonderful serve. But Knox takes the point. Tashari to serve. Well, just now it was the, the number nine player, Taylor, the outside eater of Knox, who went up just now to finish off that play. Ricocheted of a Wilmer's defender, and Knox gets the point. Oh, yes, yeah, she was being very aggressive, but went a little too much into the net and got a net violation. Beautiful serve by Wilmer's. It's kept in play. Yes, low and flat. Low and flat. Yeah, just barely skimming over the top of the net. And then putting Knox in all sorts of trouble defensively. Coach Rose is up and about, trying to get his team back into the game. It's Wilmer's six to Knox five. Beautiful pass by Knox. It's set to the outside. Taylor. And Taylor. Oh, an attempt at that dig just now by the Wilmerian. But she couldn't. Yes. She couldn't contain the. the the finesse that Taylor was coming in with. Yes. They may have thought that Taylor was going to strike it real hard, but she took the power off it, tucking it right into the corner of the court. Stewart to serve. Beautiful pass by Wilmers. Beautiful back set to the right side. Wallace. Oh, oh and that's a point. That one is worth going miles to see. Oh yes, that was a beautiful set by a Wallace to the right side and she tucked it right in the deep corners of Wilmer's court. The Libero could not handle it. And the Libero was trying, diving full length to her left. Oh yes. But unable to contain it. Oh, Wilmer's... Wilmers tried to keep that in play. Yes, they tried. But Zoya gave a, gave a really good hit to get Wilmers out of system. Now this Knox team perhaps getting a little bit too hot to handle. The confidence is, is exuding from the team. We'll have the student from GC Foster College joining us in the commentary later on. To in the second half, yes? Might be. Oh, oh beautiful block. Taylor. With the beautiful block. Yes. In fact, it was so beautiful. You, you never expected the play uh, to be executed. Oh, yes. But we we but love it when our players are aggressive on the net. Indeed. I like the aggression from both teams so far. In the event you're joining us, you're watching Eastern National on the 19th Volleyball Championship Final from GC Foster College. Oh, it's a set to the outside. Oh, it was a sweet tip by Wint. And Knox had no answer. It was a beautiful tip by Wint, but she was a little bit too aggressive, so she came in contact with the net. Yes. And in volleyball rules, once you touch the net, yes, then you the lose point the point. Is, yeah, the point is the score, yes. So, so it's still Stewart from Knox to serve. A scorch of a serve. Yes. Stewart is on fire. Wilmers couldn't handle that one and it forces Coach Ebanks to call a timeout. Well, a well needed timeout by Coach Ebanks at this juncture, though. 
What is it that you tell your players if you are the Wilmers coach? You know, I would tell them to calm down. We know the caliber of, of game that we play. We need to settle down with the passes, get the passes up. And all we need to do is be composed when we're attacking. Get yourself out of the net because Wilmers have been going into the net and losing points based off net faults. And also, too, if you were the coach of Knox, what is it that you say to your players? I would tell them to stay composed. We are winning. Continue to serve aggressively and get Woolmers out of system. Definitely. And in the event you're just joining us again, we say good afternoon, good evening, good morning or good night. You're listening to live coverage of the ISA National Under-19 Volleyball Championship Final for Girls. It is Knox in the red. They are the rural champions up against 26 time champions, Wilmers. And that uh, 26 time championship is at the All Island level. Here we go now. After the resumption, oh! A beautiful A serve. Yes, the libero of uh, Wilmers just couldn't contain it, went. In fact, it was. Uh, we'll tell you the. It was it was Burford, of Wilmers, number twelve. She's a libero. Oh, not staying alive. Ball to the float. A block temporarily that time by Wilmers, not surviving. Ball in their territory once again. Over the net, Woolmers keeping it alive. This is a long rally. Set by Wallace. In the backcourt. Budford, Budford, the, the libero from Woolmers. Yes. She has been all around the court, and, it, and Knox took advantage of her being around the court to tuck the ball right into the corner. Definitely, and scoring Another point, 13 to 6. It seems like Knox is running away with this set. Another serve by Knox. Set, oh, and that's a setting error. From the number 15, Kaylee. Stewart from Knox, still at the serving line. Beautiful serve. Pass by Wint. Set from Kayleigh. Straight back to Wint. She hits it. Oh, it's still in play. Knox gets it over. And that's a point for Wilmers. A fault was called on the Knox player. Giving Wilmers the point. Beautiful serve by Woolmans, kept in play. Tashari sends it to Wallace, and Wallace gets it over. Quick tip. Wallace said Taylor. Woolmans is keeping it alive. And that's a beautiful hit by Stewart of Woolmans. She's wearing number 10, the tallest on the court, and she's sir, showing her class, standing tall on the net. Kimara McDonald to serve from Wilmers. Oh, and that's an ace serve by Kimara. Wilmers is showing their class. Even although they were behind, they're staying composed and slowly but surely pulling themselves back into the game. Kimara. Pass by Stewart. Set by Wallace. Kept in play. We're having a substitution on the Knox College side. Number 14 comes on Cohen as the middle blocker. And that's a service error for Knox, giving 
Woolmer's the point. Woolmer is, is trailing. 10 points to Knox's 15. Knox were the defending champions for last year. Woolmer's came third last year. But let's see what Woolmer's can do. If they can reclaim the title that they are used to having. Wint at the serving line. Beautiful serve. Kept in play. Taylor sends it over. Oh, and that's an attacking error from the number two player, Kimara. Kimaro with the attacking error, giving Knox an additional point. Knox is 16. Trevian on the serving line. Pass by Wint. Oh, it's an overpass, but kept in play. Oh, and that's another point for Knox College. An overpass by Wint. Imani gives a Knox the point. Trevian from Knox, number nine at the serving line. Beautiful serve. Wind passes it up. It's a free ball by Kimaro. Wallace gets it up. Oh, and that's a point for Wilmers. They sent the ball outside. tallest on the court and I believe the captain Stewart from Wilmers is at the serving line beautiful pass by Knox Wally sets it to the back row it's a dig kept up sent straight to the outside what will she do oh, and that's an attacking error by the number 11 Patrina she swung aggressively but the control sent the ball outside so at this juncture, Joel, it is clear that uh, Knox are having things their own way in so far as the points advantage are concerned, but also to, of course, the performance on court. Oh, yes. Knox are at 18 to Woolmers 11, and they're being very dominant, very aggressive. We'll see if Woolmers can crawl their way back into this set, but if that doesn't happen, this should be a good start for Knox. They would have taken the first set. Of course, the heat is on inside the gymnasium. Later on, we should have a, basket, uh, a basketball matchup. Not too sure I'll get some information where that is concerned. But I know later on also, too, we should have. So we have one person so far on the live. Stephen E. Singh saying he's proud of both teams. And we say good afternoon to Stephen. And of course, we say good afternoon to Tavi as well, a student at uh, GC Foster College who is said will play her basketball game later on. Rashida Garden was very aggressive on the net just now, giving Wilmers the point. Knox tried to sneak a ball in, but she wasn't having it. She got the block, and she's rocking number four. Oh, my word. 18-12 the score, as you see in your picture, with Knox, the team from Clarendon, certainly having things her own way. Long-range serve by Wilmers. Set by Wallace. Oh, and that's oh. a good hit. A good hit by Tashari Garden. And the number 15 of Wolmers was trying her best with, a, with hopefully a save, but it never materialized. That was Luars, the captain. Kaylee tried to get that block, but Tashari wasn't having it. Wallace with the serve. Oh, and that's a service ace for Wallace. Knox College is taking over this match. It is Knox 20 to Woolmer's 12. You can hear their supporters in full swing. We're having a substitution. Number 16, DeAndre for number. For number 11, Patrina. Wallace with the serve. Beautiful serve. Pass by win. Back set to DeAndre. Oh, it's pushed over. Wallace keeps it in play. Set by Tashari to the outside, and that's a fault. A 
setting error by Tashari. Gives Wilmers the point. Bennett with the serve. Bennett to serve. Oh, that's an overpass. Will Wilmers capitalize? Oh, and that's uh, a net fault called on Stewart. Net fault called on Stewart. Bennett, with a beautiful serve, gave Wilmers the opportunity to capitalize with an overpass from Knox. And uh, a substitution call now on the part of Knox with number 14 stepping down. Cohen and being introduced is Zoya Kalarn. Where's number three? Bennett with the serve, Wilmers. Long Lovely serve. serve. But the Libera did well for Knox. Oh! Attacking error from Tashari. We don't see a lot of attacking errors from her. Not at all. She's the ace for Knox College. Indeed. But Bennett is doing exceptional work on the Wilmers serving line. Wilmers are crawling their way back into it. It's oh. 15 to 20. And we're almost through now to the, with the first set. Oh! That was an excellent effort. Yes. <laughs> a nice effort from uh, Zoya. Yes. She just came on. But the serves from Bennett are just too tough. Wilmers clawing their way back in the game. Bennett seems to be the super sub. She has been bringing Wilmers from, uh, I believe, 10 points. Yes. Another beautiful serve. Sawyer with the attacking error, forcing coach Barnaby to call for a timeout. Knox College was uh, so, so a vital timeout called at this point, Joel. Vital indeed. Looking at the fact too, it has certainly been exciting. In the event you're just joining us here, Watching the Eastern National on the 19 Volleyball Championship for Girls. Wilmers in, of course, the Gold and Burgundy. And uh, the team from Clarendon Knox in red with the black shorts. Over the last five minutes or so, though, certainly the tempo have increased in this contest between both teams. Oh, definitely. Um, Knox College was, was being very dominant in the first half of the set. And you would think that Wilmers would never come back. But Wilmers are forcing and putting on the afterburners, crawling their way slowly back into the set, forcing Coach Barnaby and Coach Rose to call a timeout and get their team back in composure. It is often said that the race is not for the swift, neither the battle for the strong, but who can endure to the end. And so certainly this one, as we said before, could go down to the wire. Oh, yes. As we said, Wilmers is no stranger to an all islands, so they're showing their class been very calm and composed even although they were below in the points. It is Wilmer's 17 to Knox 20. Bennett still on the serving line. There's a level of determination now from both teams. Oh, that one was flat. And the return wasn't good by Knox. Trevian couldn't contain it. Normally when a, when a coach calls a timeout, it's to disrupt the server's momentum but that time wasn't really effective because Bennett still came back with a superb serve. The coach only the banks of Wilmers now pacing the sidelines. Pass by Trivian set by Zoya. Wilmers with the pass it's set to the right side. Kimara oh. with a hit it's kept in play while he sets it to Tashara. And that's a point for Knox. Tashari got the hit over. And Tashari has broke the cycle. Definitely. This one, as we said before, Joel, it could go down to the wire in this the first. And this the first uh, the first set. Expect some kind of magic. I believe that's what uh, Wilmers is hoping for, some magic in this final uh, part of the first set. Tashari gets, Tashari gets another uh, beautiful ace serve, pulling Knox closer and closer to winning the first set. It's 23 to 
Woolmer's A team. Tashari still to serve. Beautiful serve. Kept in play by the Woolmerian Libera. Hey. Over by Wint. Look for, as I said before, both teams to come up with some plays that you have never seen before. Oh, definitely. It's Tashari. Knocks her at 24. They only need one point to win this set. And it's the captain, Tashari. Oh, that one was flat and hard. Oh, but Wilma's got oh. it. Oh! Oh, she got it over, but she went into the net. Net, yes. Giving yes. Knox the point. They shot it down in 25, uh, I believe, 18. And they take the first set of this five set matchup. 25 18, the first set. We're going to take a quick break here as either teams change side of the court. Your assessment, though, of the first set as you saw it, Joel. Knox was being very aggressive in the way they play, played. And Wilmers wasn't really answering the aggression that Knox was putting out. I believe Coach Banks needs to speak with his team to be a little bit more calm and composed under the pressure that Knox is pushing out. So 25-18. And we have another comment Good run of point, Wilmers, go. And that comment is from Dujon Da Silva. And 101 views. And 39 current, uh, make that 39 steady viewers. And at the moment, we just want to say good afternoon, good evening, or good night. Wherever you're watching the broadcast, you're surely Dwight Fraser, along with Joel James. Joel, your expectation now of the next set. I expect Wilmers to come back ready, rearing to take the second set because they do not want to lose three sets um, to Knox College. They want to take the trophy back to Hero Circle. So I believe that they will be coming out firing at all angles in the second set. And that's an ace serve for Wallace. 
She is the shortest player on Knox College's team, but she's showing her class and making her impact. Beautiful serve by Wallace. Knox two points up. Beautiful serve. Pass by Wint. What's a push over? Kept in play by Zoya. Oh, that's a passing error by Zoya. So, Shannet Clark saying Knox all the way. And Andrew Jones saying go Wilmers. And Shannet Clark again saying Knox current versus Knox past student. Oh, yes, yes. We yeah. have the alumni out and about cheering for their teams. Well, let's see. Beautiful ace serve by Wilmers. Beautiful Wilmers ace serve by Wilmers that time. And Knox having trouble negotiating it. Yes. Communication is key on a volleyball court. And that serve was a little bit too hard for Knox to contain. Here is Wilmers once again from the back court of the baseline, if you will. Sawyer keeps it in play. Still alive. Oh, a that's, little too long. That's a big point for, uh, I believe it's Trevian. Taylor. It went in. It went right in at the baseline. She tucked it in beautifully. And I was almost saying that it went outside, but it's, it was alive. Oh, wait, wait. My error. The referee actually called it yeah, because, as outside. Yeah, outside, because the, 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 the lines person yeah, yes. Yes, had, the, uh, had the red flag up. Oh, yes, yes definitely, definitely. My, my, uh, my error. So, Wilmers, after the races, they lead at the moment. A double... The lead is doubled. Katrina from Wilmers with those uh, beautiful series of serves. She has it. Wally sets it. Oh! Made no contact with the net. Knox, not at all. That was a lovely block by Tashari. Yes. You'll be hearing that name very frequently. She's the ace of Knox College, scoring a lot of points for the Knox team. Set to the outside. Wint pushed it over. Or oh, Wallace kept it in play. Tashari sends it. Oh! Tashari Knox. sends it to Trevian. Yes. And Knox gets the point. That player raising up, uh, going up high to finish off Wilmers in that play. But right now it's a ding-dong battle. Wilmers needs to put it all on the line. The man on the color commentary is Joel James and yours truly Dwight Fraser as the analyst. Beautiful set to Wint. Oh, but an attacking error. Yes, by the player of Knox, who made contact with the net. The error was actually on the part of Wilmers. Still alive. The and that's a setting error called on uh, Wallace. The umpire called a setting error on Wallace. Explain. Uh, oh, yes. So, every volleyball team deserves or uh, needs a setter. And they are the playmaker on the court. They will always get the second ball um, off the play. Volleyball is a three-ball three point. Three-ball playing sport. Yes. And on the second play, the setters always get the ball. And what Wallace actually did, she made a slight error with her hand positioning making the ball spin a little too much out of control given that uh, setting error and of course Wilmers attacking the net getting that point they lead by just a point neither team relenting in this fight this is a second set Knox won the first 25-18 Pass up by Zoya from Knox. Oh, and that's an attacking error by Trevian. Trevian on Knox's court. 
So Taylor with the attacking arrow. She wears number nine for Knox. So the serve to come from Wilmers, serve made, ball kept alive, almost in the backcourt. Wallace with the set. Oh, a little too long. A little bit too long from the Knox player. The setter for Wilmers has been doing some very good defending. She's rocking number 15, Kaylee. She has been defending and cleaning up the back row, keeping oh. the ball alive for Wilmers to capitalize on the point. And you recognize something also too that both teams, even though they make the errors as junior players, they find a way to come back. Oh, yes. Oh, that one was smooth. It was from Casiana Stewart, who wears number 10. The tallest player on the court. Yeah. She's not afraid to get aggressive on the net. And going close to the net. So uh, let, let us say a big up to Gatorade or rehydration sponsor today, Joel. Oh, yes. We can't be profound, optimum athletes without proper hydration. We have to big up our sponsors, Gatorade. Definitely. And at this juncture, Woolmers having things their own way. A timeout called, and we're far from over in this set. But Knox winning the first set, 25 18. We go back to the live to read some of the comments. So judging from the last comment we read, we are now at Triple JJ that says one college, Knox College. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we go a little lower. Uh, Olivia says, uh, go Wilmers, or is that good Wilmers? With uh, about seven, G seven O's. Another comment from... Romario Williams, who won the last set, he was asking. Uh, the last Knox. set was won by La Knox. Oh, who won the first set? Ah, uh, yes. Was Knox, won by Knox. Knox won the first set. We're currently in the second. 18. We're currently in the second set. Um, coming off the timeout called by Knox College, and it is uh, Wilmers at 10 to Knox's 5. So two days away from Holy Thursday, three days from Good Friday. Neither, either team wants to go into the holiday break with some medals around their neck. Beautiful Gold hit. medal that is. Beautiful hit by Trevian. Yes. Trevian Taylor, she's rocking number nine, but she couldn't have done it without that set, that super set from Wallace. And you like the encouragement from either teams. Whenever their players make mistake, they make a huddle and encourage each other to oh, carry on. Oh yes, that is the spirit of volleyball. Continuous fighting. Great continuous sportsmanship. Fighting. Oh! That one was flat. Set by Kaylee right to the outside. When she gets it over. Set by Wallace. Tashari gets it over. Oh, and that's a setting error. Setting error by Wilmers. And Knox will capitalize. Just in the event you're joining us on the live and might be wondering. With 134 views. This is the Issa National Under-19 Volleyball Championship Final. On the girls' side between Bulmers in ah. Burgundy shorts and gold top. And Knox from Clarendon in red. And Joel, certainly this one is on fire. Oh yes, Tamoya had a scorching ace serve just a while ago. Giving uh, Knox the point. They're crawling back. Eight serving to ten from Wilmers. Tamoya with the serve. Another good one. Wilmers recover. Oh! Unable to keep it in. Patrina, she tried. She's rocking number 11 to keep the ball in play. But it was just too much. Knox with the point. Stewart number six. Still to serve. Yeah. 
Serving error by Stewart, giving Wilmers the point. And it's Kimaro from Wilmers ready to serve. Beautiful serve. Beautiful serve. And Knox couldn't hold on. She gets an ace serve, stretching the lead for Wilmers, and that was Kimaro. And I'm seeing a style of play now where three players lining up behind each other oh, for yes. Wilmers. Ah, uh, that's, that's, uh... Oh, good reply by Knox. It just couldn't fall in. Yes, that was a uh, number 10, Stewart. She's the tallest player on uh, the court. And on Wilma's uh, team, she's very aggressive on the net. And as Dwight said before, you, you can see three players stacked up on the net. And that's just uh, the starting position that volleyballers, uh, volleyballers uh, who are serving normally take. It sometimes acts as a little blocking screen yes. to prevent the oppo opponent from reading the play, from seeing the server. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> it's almost like a little screen. Yeah, in basketball. Oh yes, just yeah. like that. And talking about basketball later on, we we'll, should see our good friend Tamoni Bailey, Tamoni Bailey, that is, in action right here. Wilmers are stretching their lead. 15 to Knox's 9. They're showing their class. They're showing their strengths. And they're showing that they are a caliber team. Beautiful serve by Kimaro. Set by Wallace right to the outside. And that is a point for Wilmers again. The aggression that was shown by Knox in the first set has slightly shifted. Wilmers are now the aggressor. Yes, yes, yes. And Knox, of course, seeking to get back in the contest. They trail at the moment, 16 to 9. Wallace, in the this setter. Is the second set. She tried to pull a fast play and got called for a double contact, giving Wilmers the point. So to serve now for Wilmers is McDonald. Long, oh, beautiful finish. Knox having no answer for that play. Oh, yes. Knox has been at nine points for a while now. And Kimaro has been serving consistently. So, McDonald to serve again. Well, it falls beyond the baseline. And Knox will get the point. Yeah, I believe Knox will be breathing a sigh of relief to get Kimaro off the serving line because she has been doing some significant uh, damage. And now this, the serve will change. And so Knox will serve now through their number nine player. That is Taylor. We wait to see what Taylor can provide as this contest we're on. This certainly has been a humdinger or a ding-dong battle, if you will. And Wilmer's enjoying the better off play so far in this second set. Oh, yes. Knox took the first. So Wilmer's came out firing in this second set. And they are keeping the ball in play. Ball. Wally sets it to Tashari. She hits it. Wilmer's is fighting. Kaylee sets it to the outside, but get called. Not too sure what that call was about, Joel. I saw... A common setting error, they, they call it a double. And that's when the referee sees that you have contacted, contacted the ball twice. Twice, yes. And Just that, like a double dribbling basketball. Oh, yes, yes. and that results in a, a, a not so pretty set. Wilmer's alive. Set by Kaylee, sent over by Camario. And Wally sets it right outside to Trevian. But Wilmer's are fighting. Oh. And that's an attacking error by Kamaro. Kimaro. There's a level of communication now for the Knox team. Talking to each other and ensuring that they remain in the contest. They won the first set 25-18 and now they trail. And they want to turn, turn things around. 
Oh, the long arms of uh, Stewart, rocking number 10. Very aggressive on the net. Knox she Ballet's, made contact with the net, I'm sure. No, no, no. She made contact with the ball, um, resulting in a point for Wilmers because Knox um, could not pick up the ball when it went down. Um, Knox are finding it very hard to pass the long block of Stewart, who is from Wilmers, number 10. Here she serve again. That one going high and outside. So, a tough patch now for Knox. As Wilmers. It's seeming to be a, a Wilmers set because Wilmers is a, to, at 20 points to Knox's uh, 12 20. points. So Knox getting, of course, a well-needed point. Even though they are down, they are still fighting. They are still gritting their teeth. And as defending champions, this is what we expect to see. Mohamed Ali says that uh, you lose the fight when you're knocked down. If you stay down, find the strength to get up and the will to carry on. Oh, yes. Trevian, the one who scored the point with a beautiful serve. A quick point by uh, yeah. Wallace. Uh, as we said, she is the shortest player on the Knox team, but she is showing her class. And she is showing that volleyball is not just only for the tall guys, but for those who are Diminutive. short as well. Indeed. <laughs> and from the two serves earlier on, Knox have capitalized. My oh my. Oh yes, let's see if they can pull themselves back into this set. As we said, Woolmans is at 12, 20 and Knox is at 14. Six point differential between the leader and the chaser. Oh, it's a set to Tashari. She Tashari. Tipped it. That was a nice tip. Oh, yes, it was. A point for Wilmers, increasing their lead. It's now Wilmers 21 to Knox's 14. So, should Wilmers win this set, then of course we'll be tied up at a set each. Oh, yes. And as we said, it is five sets, but the first team to win the first three sets will be the winners. If both teams have two sets apiece, we will go into a fifth set that would not be 25 points, but actually 15 points. And that time it would be much closer. We read what the comments say again. Jolene Olivia says, Bob, I see you. And Wilmers all the way from Olivia. Charlotte Clark says, big up Gibbs. And of course, Princess T knocks all Pass the way. Set to Tashari, and kept in play by Wint. Oh, and that's an error by uh, the Libero from Wilmers. Tashari made a, a scorching hit through the middle. And Knox are now at 16, while Wilmers is at 21. Let us see if Knox can really and truly crawl their way back into the set and win the second set. We wait to see if they can. This one is far from over. The action is on Issa National, is on Issa Sports TV. It's the Issa All Island Volleyball Girls Championship Final. Set by Kaylee to the middle. Oh, and that's a superb hit by the number four, Gordon Rashida. But it could not be done without that super set from the number 15, Kaylee. Wilmers yeah. gets the point. And what, what you saw just now, though, when Wilmers just before uh, getting that ball with a spike was that the Knox players were closing in to try to, to save it, but it never transpired. Oh, yes. Long range serve. Set to Tashari. Oh, and that's a point for Knox. And the block for Wilmers was there, but Tash Tashari, she used the block really well getting the ball outside and resulting in a point for Knox College. And uh, the word is ubiquitous. That is Tashari almost everywhere on the court, every time for Knox. Oh yes, a versatile player, passing, defending, and very much aggressive in her attacks. Pass by Taylor, set by Wallace to Tashari. She sends it deep. Set by Kaylee to the outside. It is oh. an attacking error by Kimaro. 
That was a beautiful set by Wallace off uh, Knox College. She sent it right back to her main eater, Tashari. And, and what I like about uh, the volleyball players is that whenever a team member makes a mistake, you don't go quarreling and tearing them apart. Oh, but yes. of course, ensuring that you encourage them along the way. So as we get back into the second set, Knox College took the first set. They're actually down in this set. Wilmers is in the, in the lead with 22 points to Knox's 18, but Knox is staying composed. And we will see if Wallace, the number four from Knox College, will change the tide in the second set. She's at the serving line. Beautiful serve. Pass by Wint. Kaylee gets it over. Tashari sends it. Oh, and that's a point for Knox College. In volleyball, you need to get the ball over within three plays. Yes. And Wolmers took did, about four. Yes. Oh, yeah. They didn't get the ball over within that three plays. Yes. And what is good, Joel, is that as you go along, you're explaining the game for our viewers who might not know all the rules. Oh, yes. We love it when new players get into the sport of volleyball. You played as well for, for St. Diego back in the day. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, no. Not too long ago. You yeah. <laughs> I could see that you love it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. From, from St. Diego. Um, we nurture volleyball really well. And St. Diego is actually in the male finals today. They will be playing against yeah. Jamaica College. No. I, at that point, I suspect that you might lose your voice. Woolmers at 23 points, Knox at 19. Woolmers wants to shut this set down and win the second set because Knox took the first set. And at this juncture now, 168 views or 43 consistent viewers. And many a person is checking out the live ever so often. Oh, yes. And uh, we're saying thanks again to our rehydration sponsors. Gatorade. Beautiful hit by Tashari. It's kept in play by the Wilmere and Libero. Kaylee sends it over. Trevian. Oh, and a quick push by Wallace. Beautiful set by Kaylee. Kept in play by Knox Tashari. Will she shut it down? Oh, and yes, she does. Oh, that was a great finish. A great finish by, by Tashari. Tashari. She is a national prospect, no doubt. Oh, yes, she is. This Knox team certainly have come alive now in the last one minute and 13 seconds. Oh, yes, it is Knox 20 to Wilmers 23. Wilmers was leading, but let's see if Knox can overthrow and Knox. Knox are turning the tides in their favor. It is Knox's 21 to Woolmer's 23. Remember, it's the first team to reach 25 points. And just now, Woolmer's well, had at least an eight point lead. Oh yes, and, and, and all Knox. that now has been extinguished. Oh yes, I can tell they're feeling the pressure. Knox is fighting. Oh, it's a set. Oh, a pushover by Kaylee. 
Well, he sets it to Trevian. Oh, and oh. she hits it. A outside. little too long. And Wilmers gets the point. It's Wilmers' set point to Knox's 21. Wilmers is at 24, and Knox is at 21. Beautiful serve. Set to the outside. Wilmers keeps it in play. Yes, treading cautiously, Wilmers. Oh, yes, they are. Well, he sends it to Tashari. She strikes it and strikes it hard, but Wilmers keeps it in play. Oh, and that's a net fault. Called on the number 10 from Wilmers. That's the tallest player on the court. Stewart. And you hear the sound of the arms coming from Knox College direction. This set is far from over. Oh yes, Stewart wanted to shut it down with that block, but ended up in the net, giving Knox College the point. The action is on Issa Sports TV at GC Foster College. It is the Issa National on the 19 Volleyball Girls final, All Island final, and Wilmers walk away with the set. 25-22, but your assessment of it, Joel, certainly it was an exciting set, especially the closing stages. Oh yes, indeed. Wilmers was actually w miles away in the second set, so they should have um, shut it down really fast, but Knox did not give up. They kept fighting and they kept crawling back from, I believe, a 10-point deficit um, to make the scores 25-23. Uh, 20, no, 22. Yes, and in the event you might be wondering, you're watching, as we said before, the Issa National on the 19 Volleyball Championship Final for Girls at GC Foster College. You're Shulit White Fraser along with Joel James. And we get set to go now into the third uh, set. But before we do so, let me say thanks again to our re rehydration sponsor, uh, Gatorade. And of course, uh, the many spectators who have assembled here this afternoon to see this championship matchup to come later on on the boys' side of the Jamaica College versus your school, St. Jago. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And we're expecting a very exciting match for that male, um, male finals. Both teams are used to um, the All-Island scenes. They have been present in past years as champions and as runner-ups. So we're expecting a very tantalizing match. Jamaica College, fervent opus in campus, their motto. And St. Jago. Labor Omnia Winkit. Labor conquers all. And let us see if that will work out for them. Work is burning in the field for Jamaica College. Let us see what will work for them. It's Old Oak Road versus Monk Street in Spanish Town. The championship decider on the boys' side later on. Interesting to note also, too, that this contest in the first set, it was won by Knox 25-18. And Wilmers clawed their way back 25-22 to win the second set. Stay with us. We take a short break. Uh, don't go anywhere. We'll be back in just a moment. So we get set now to go in the third quarter. Yes. And Joel, I expect, just like myself, you'd be expecting the same level of intensity that we saw 
especially at the end of the second quarter. Oh, yes. Second set. Oh, yes. And even although Woolmers took the second set, Knox was firing very hard in that last half. At least four unanswered points. Oh, yes. Yeah. But let's see if Woolmers can contain them in this third set and push their way forward to win this final. There's a saying that says the race is not for the swift, neither the battle for the strong. But who can endure to the end? This one, as I've been saying all afternoon, will, will go down to the end and to the wire. I hardly see any team dominating the other to win as we'd expect, maybe by... In a, in a three nil sweep. Not at all, it's oh, not yes. happening. Off and running to the races. Bulmers trying to keep it alive. Oh, and that's a beautiful point for, I believe, Sawyer yes. from uh, Knox College. As we stated before, you need to get the ball over within three plays. And Woolmers couldn't get it over in that three plays. And once they receive it, they must, of course, execute two plays before returning the serve. Definitely. Here is Zoya. In oh! Beautiful serve. She gets an ace. Yes. Uh, Knox College has been racking up aces, um, getting Woolmers out of system. What's happening right now? Yours truly, Dwight Fraser, along with Joel James. Dwight Fraser on color. James doing the analyst job just for now before we switch roles once again. Oh, yes. We're coming to you live from GC Foster College. Zoya, long range serve. Oh, some miscommunic miscommunication. What transpired there? Oh, some miscommunication on the Wilmerian court. Uh, I believe it was Kimario. She passed up the ball, but her players, our other players, did not uh, reach the ball in time to get it over. We'll wait to see now. Zaya once again, working it left side. Bulmers having trouble of their own. Funny, there was no call on that play though. Yes, I, I was surprised about that, but it doesn't matter. Knox gets the point anyways. So Knox off to a big start in this quarter. They lead. Four to nothing. The defending champions, Knox, want to carry back their trophy to Clarendon. To Clarendon. Oh, that one was almost in slow motion. Two players from Wilmers colliding. And again, it comes down to communication problem on Wilmers' oh, part. Oh, definitely, definitely. But I believe uh, Wilmers got the point. Some form of attacking fault was called on, on the uh, Knox attacker. Number six, she is uh, Stewart, giving Wilmers the point. Their first point in this third set. Here they go, Wilmers. Long range serve. Kept alive now. It's a pass by the Libero. Yes. Daily, she sets it to the outside. Oh, and that's a good oh, hit. Good hit and a good save that time by Knox. Oh, yes. Oh, a diving effort by that diminutive player of Wilmers. Where's number 12? And a substitution call. If you thought that high school volleyball wasn't exciting, then certainly you'd have made a mistake. This is Wilmers. Good pass. Oh, the tip was blocked. Coming close to the net that time was Stewart. Oh, good tip. And there's a whistle. Not too sure what for. But then Knox will get the point. They lead 7-1, a six-point advantage. So that 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 fault was called on, on the setter, Kaylee. She's actually a back row player. So when she jumps in front row, she should not jump and place the ball over the net if she's a back row player. Only players from a front row can jump and attack about placing it over the net. So that's why she was called um, for the fault by the referee. And uh, so the back row players would be persons like the setter. So normally in volleyball, with the volleyball rotation, players will move 
in uh, anti -clockwise. an anti-clockwise direction. So you will, if you are at back row, after about three rotations, you will be at front row. Indeed. But when you're in your back row position, you can't make those attacking, um, those jumping attacks in the front row. So if you're going to jump and attack, you have to jump from behind the back row line. Which, of course, is that blue line closest to the net. Oh, yes. It's called the three-meter line. The three-meter so line. Normally, in male matches, you will see a back row attacker launch themselves from the three-meter line into the front row to attack as a front row player. But they cannot do that if they jump at the front row. Indeed. Because, uh, of course, the rule refers to the point at which you take off. But oh, yeah. if you are in front of the line then certainly you'll be spotted for an illegal play. Oh yes, once you're in front of the line, as a front row player, you have all liberty to jump and attack as you feel fit. Long range serve this time by Knox. Pulmas trying to stay alive, oh! Kept in play by Knox. That was an excellent play! By Knox College, coming Zaya. alive! Zaya kept it in play. Oh, but, what a glorious move that time. But Pulmas, Number four, I believe it is uh, Rashida. She made a blocking error and actually gave Knox the point. Knox with the serve once again. Bulmas finding themselves in all sort of trouble. Oh, yes. Could Wallace. the ship of Bulmas be sinking now? Maybe Wallace has been serving consistently, consistently hard, giving Bulmas all sorts of problems when it comes on to their serve receives. They trail by nine, the girls from the Hero Circle. This is their worst start to a set in the contest so far. Kaylee with a beautiful back set to Patrina. Picked up easily by Zoya. It's a set to Tashari, but it's kept in play. And a beautiful touch by Kaylee. They said as she sent the ball straight into the apex of the court and giving Wilmers the point. Yes, just kind of punching the ball out of play. Oh, yes. For a minute, I thought it was a boxing match. Uh, those quick little cheeky points will sometimes give you the upper edge. Wilmers remaining calm and composed despite being under pressure. The service flat. Trying to recover. Right at the net. Knox. Seeking the attack. Wilmers. Oh. And that's a miss hit by Kimar Kimaro. Knox is increasing the pressure. Knox is increasing their lead. And it's 11 for Knox serving to Woolmers 2. Number 2, Kimara McDonald. Of course, making several errors at this point. McDonald. Long range pass. That's a powerful serve just now. Oh, yes. And another error. Another error. By Woolmers. Patrina. This is starting to feel a lot like the first set where Knox came out very hard and had a very long lead. And let us see if, if Woolmers can, can shake themselves back out of this. Another, Another error by Woolmers. Yes, definitely. And Tash here is where Knox slowly pulls away. Oh yes, Tashari, who we said has been a very instrumental player on the Knox College side. She has been defending, she has been attacking, and now she is serving very hard. Knox is perhaps the ghost that Woolmers would want to smoke out. But the effort not working at the moment. Tashari with the serve from the backcourt. Woolmers. Oh, oh, that's a big what block. What a glorious block. By Tamoya Stewart. She is not letting it pass her on the net. She's standing very vigilant. The door was closed, Joel. Oh, yes. My goodness. This team from Clarendon Knox, perhaps they smell blood. Oh yes, they are running away with this match. Wilmers make another mistake. Errors after errors after errors. Tashari, the as I said, the attacker, she's giving us some very tough serves and Wilmers just cannot handle it with the service. The SS Wilmers have taken in some water. Oh yes. On the high seas of this final. Knox have scored again. My oh my! Another A serve for Tashari. Knox is running away with this match. This is the largest lead that we have seen by any team 
in any quarter played so far. Oh yes, it is a and 14. And set played so far. 14 points lead, 16 for Knox, and two for Woolmers. Let's make that a 15 point lead. Knox is running away with this set. It is almost done for almost. Woolmers. Almost. Well, but never say never. Yes, let's never Until say never. Until it's over. Oh yes, because Woolmers. Maybe Woolmers have something. Oh yes, they. In the Arsenal. A traditional team that knows what pressure feels like. So let's see what Woolmers can come back with. Beautiful pass by Kaylee. It's kept in play. And it's a point for Woolmers. They get Tashari off the serving line. And that is just showing their calm and composure. And they look for the right part of the court in which to strike on the right hand side. When of course no one was covering that area. Oh yes. This is far from over. But at the moment it's one way traffic in so far the scores are concerned. Oh yes. Rashida from Woolmers with a good serve. Tipped over. It's kept in play by Woolmers. Oh and an and a, and a error from Stewart giving Woolmers the point. So Woolmers now answering the call. Back to back points now, Joel. They are pulling themselves back into the fray. Beautiful pass and a set. Kept in play by Woolmers. Kaylee sets it to the outside. It's Deandra Bennett. And she gets the point. Woolmers gets the point. Three unanswered points for Woolmers so far. Oh, yes. Remember earlier on, we said that this Woolmers team understands what pressure feels like yes they are calm and composed they have a lot of experience at these all island tournaments so let's see if Woolmers can come back that's a point for taylor breaking Woolmers momentum yes and so And so we thought, when you thought this match was over, certainly it is far from. So Timali Tolo on the live says, nice serving Woolmers. Beautiful serve from Knox. And that seems to be a, a, a sending error on the Wilmerian side. Knox steadily increasing their lead. Woolmers needs to switch something up to bring themselves back because if they don't. A 14 point lead. Knox will take the set. And they're closing in on taking this the third set. Beautiful serve. And it's a service error by the Knox player. Stewart giving Woolmers the point, giving them a ray of sunshine so that they can capitalize and push forward. Certainly there might be light at the end of the proverbial tunnel for Woolmers at the moment. Let's just see if they can ride this current momentum where they have scored four points in the last two and a half minutes. Oh yes, Kimaro to the serving line with a beautiful serve. It's kept in play. Oh, and that's... That's an attacking error. It's actually called a carry, a lift. Giving Woolmers the point. And Woolmers benefiting from two points now, Joel, by virtue of Knox College's mistake. Oh, yes. Kimara is sending the pressure with the serves. Beautiful serve. Knox still has it in play. A pass by Woolmers. It was a good effort, just now by Knox. Woolmers trying as best as possible to rescue the day. But it was not to be. Oh, yes. Knox seemingly running away with this set. It's Knox 20 to Woolmers 7. A serving error by the Knox player, giving Woolmers the point. It is Bennett at the serving line. In set two, Bennett actually brought Woolmers back into the game. So let us see if Bennett can be just as effective on the serving line. Beautiful serve by Bennett. Knox keeps it in play. Let's see what Trevian can do. She rolls it over. 
Woolmers with a cheeky tip. Kept in play by Bellic. She's defending well. It's a pass by the Libero. But unfortunately for Woolmers, it did not go over. A so time a timeout out. called by O'Neill Banks to talk things over. It's too hot on the court. Oh, yes, it is. Knox came out real hot in the third, third set. Taking all the momentum. Shooting them their way forward. Which is why they, are, they have such a dominant lead. 21 for Knox to Woolmer's 8. So we say good afternoon, good morning, good evening or good night. Wherever you're watching the live broadcast on Issa Sports TV with Joel James and yours truly Dwight Fraser. And at this juncture with Knox leading 21-8 in the third set. Just to give you a rundown of what transpired in the first two sets. Knox won 25-18 but Woolmer's replied 25-22 in the second set. Right now Knox have things their own way. Oh yes. Knox is very, being very dominant, very aggressive in this third set. And they want to take on this third set to make the fourth set an easier set for them. But Woolmers is a very experienced and meticulous team and they will not give up so easily. Definitely. I would have seen them trail earlier on by at least 14 points. And oh my word, Woolmers, they were logging behind on two points but now they've got six more they're on eight knocks to serve it's the number nine trevian with a service error she serves it outside giving woolmers another point and for the first time now woolmers on the fringe of moving into double digits it's the tallest player from woolmers number 10 stewart at the serving line let's see if she can bring her team back into this game. Beautiful float serve. Tip by Woolmers. And Kaylee with the tip. The Woolmerian set at number 15. Gets a beautiful tip due to that stunning serve by Stewart. Woolmers 10 to Knox's 21. Stewart. Another beautiful serve. Wallace sends it to Tashari. Kept in play, set to the outside, and a beautiful hit by Patrina from Woolmers. She swung, she hit, and she got the point. And this is the closest that Woolmers have come in this set against the leaders, Knox College. Woolmers oh. to serve. Oh, yes. They want to pull themselves back and increase their momentum, but a service that's error by a serving error by uh, Stewart. From Wilmers. So quickly the coach. Quickly the coach of call a substitution. A deep pass by Kaylee. She sees the apex open. Yes. And she sends the ball right into the apex of the court. Definitely. That Knox wasn't defending. It shows that Woolmers is still fighting. They are not giving up. They trail by 10 points. Lovely serve by the number 15, Kaylee. Set to the middle. It's kept in play by Bennett. And some miscommunication. Again, the miscommunication we spoke about, Joel. Oh, yes. Whenever the ball falls into the apex between two players of Woolmers, they must make up their mind which player go for it. Exactly. As was the case with Knox. But again, these players are juniors. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Bennett kept the ball in play, but the Wolmerian players couldn't decide who were going to take the second play. Beautiful serve by Wallace. And a good save that time by Wilmers. Set right back to the outside. She swings, she hits it. Oh, oh. that's a point for number two, Kimaro. She's fighting real hard. Still a 10-point advantage. Knox, large and in charge. Wilmers waiting to serve now. Oh, yes. Through. Patrina. She gets an ace serve. Moving them now to 14. Oh, it seems like Knox College can't shut down the set. They only need two points to shut down the set. 
but Wilmers is continuously racking up points. A great fight shown by Wilmers. Oh, yes. And the serve, too long. Putting Knox now on the brink of wrapping up the, the third set. set. Wilmers, they are calm and composed. They will try to bring their momentum up for the next set. Beautiful serve, kept in play by Wilmers, but that's it. So, Knox College. Tassari, the number seven, gets the service point to shut down the third set in favor of Knox. So 25-14, Knox taking the third set, and they lead by two sets to one. We take a break. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a moment. Of this match if Knox wins this set it will be over but if Wilmers presses on 
we can go to a fifth set. So, we say welcome back now to our commentary. Yours truly, Dwight Fraser and Joel James. And Wilmers on the serve. James will be back in terms of commentary. For now, he'll be your analyst with us. What transpired there, Joel? Uh, Wilmers came out with a good serve from Kaylee. She's the setter. And given, uh, not, given Wilmers the first point um, in the third set, Wilmers took a while to get their feet off the ground which resulted in that big lead. But they are starting off strong in this fourth set with two points off the serve. Two points off the serve. The captain, Kaylee Loire, is the setter. She wears number 15, having things almost her own way. And Knox will perhaps find some ways now how to respond. This is Loire's Kaylee with the set. Good push. Oh, good block the time. Ball touched the net. Still alive. Knox. Oh. Miscommunication again. On the Knox team. So Wilmers has three points to none. And this is the total opposite that we saw in uh, the third set. So clearly Coach Ibang spoke to his players and gave them some drive to come into this fourth set to dominate. Here is uh, Loars, the captain again. Serving for the fourth time. Long. Too long. And Knox gets the point. Woolmers needs to uh, get this set under control if they want to still have a chance at taking the title of this female finals. Because if Knox win this set, then it's all over. They lead by two sets to one, Knox. They will serve now through Zoya. Where's number three? Woolmers trying to keep it alive. Good push over the net. Nice. Oh. It was a nice pass. Setting up. Of course, uh, their number six player, Tamoy. And again, we see communication problems sometimes where both teams are concerned. Oh, yes. Both players on the net were wondering who was actually going to play the ball. And the ball actually fell right, in, right between the two players. Miscommunication is always Petrina with the serve. And Knox unable to keep it in. Wilmers, another point to Hero Circle. Oh yes, they're stepping away slowly but surely. They know what is on the line, so they must capitalize in this fourth set. Let us see if they can capitalize. Petrina Chisholm from the baseline with a serve. Goes long and hard. Again, Knox having difficulty in oh. negotiating oh, yes. those serves. The player was right near the ball, but as we said before, miscommunication is the detriment of the team. Bulmas have scored at least five points so far from service. Petrina to serve once again. Flat. Caught in the middle. Apex. Oh. We'll wait to see where the point will go. And Knox will get it. They trail by four Knox. Yes, the middle blocker Rashida from Wilmers tried to block the ball that was coming from uh, Knox. But was unsuccessful resulting in a point for Knox College. Tashara with the serve. Oh! And the libero of Wilmers was arriving just in time. Skating on her knees. Oh, yes. It was a nice uh, effort for the serve receive. But our other player from the Wilmerian side could not uh, reciprocate in getting the ball over. This is the championship matchup between Wilmers and Knox. Wilmers in Burgundy. And, of course, gold. They have possession now. Oh, good return. Kept in play by Wallace. Oh. And that is, uh, ball is kept in play. The rally is still on. Wallace sends it over. The Libero gets it up. Kaylee sends it to the outside. Barn. And it crashes into the net. And Knox will get the point. Oh, yes. That was a beautiful set by Kaylee. But Bennett could not capitalize on the set, giving uh, Knox College the point. Tashara to serve. It was a good rally just now, though. Oh, yes. Wilmers lead by two. Long range serve. Beautiful set again by Kaylee to Bennett. And another attacking error by Bennett. So, uh, 
Wilma's in violation on several occasions. Let us see what Knox can do on serve. They trail by two. Tashari still at the serving line. Beautiful serve. Kept it had some play. power on it. Oh, yes, and it was nice and flat. Tashari with the dig set to Taylor. Oh, oh not enough power on that. Oh, yes. And the ball doesn't clear the net. Wilmers getting the point. So to serve now at the baseline for Wilmers. We'll be in the number four, Gordon, Rashida Gordon. Let's see what will transpire on the serve. Knox alive, keeping it. Tashara in the play. Punched over the net. Wilmers still game. Oh! Wilmers getting it that time. A beautiful attack by Kimaro. A lovely back set by Kaylee that Kamaro capitalized, sending it straight down the line. Giving Woolmers that point, that edge that they need. Yes, this is their number four player now, Woolmers, to serve once again. Nice and flat, but this time it's too flat. And it makes contact with her side of the net. And Knox gets the point. Oh, yes. So at this point now, Joel will take over the color commentary. And I'll do the analyst job. Quick substitution made on uh, Knox College's team. They want to shut it down in this fourth set. But Wilmers will be fighting as they are composed. Pass by Bennett. Set back to Bennett. And it's a beautiful hit. It's kept in play by Tashari. Set. A set in error by Wallace. We haven't seen much errors from Wallace. Even though, though she's so short, she's a very composed, tactical player. Woolmers with the serve. Kimaro at the serving line. Oh, and that serve Another, was a little yes. bit too flat. So, the previous one was flat, made contact with the net. Another serve. This one goes onto the net. So, problems for Woolmers now. Oh, yes. Woolmers doesn't want to get Knox back into this set. Because Knox has the opportunity to shut it down in the fourth set. Beautiful set by Kaylee. Again, the struggle of Woolmers continue. Oh, Knox yes. pulling away. Or make that Knox closing the gap. They, the gap is now just two points. Woolman need to shut it down in this set if they want to have a chance of getting the title. And Knox committing the same error as their opponents. And they suffer. Yet again, Woolmers with a three-point advantage. Special thanks to our rehydration sponsors, Gatorade. For refueling our commentators, the officials, and of course, the players. Oh, yes. We all know that electrolytes are important for us athletes. Yes. So we thank you, Gatorade, for your continuous sponsorship. And when you burn energy, you lose electrolytes. Oh, yes. And Gatorade replacing electrolytes and other crucial minerals in there as well. And with the sweltering heat in this yes. uh, gymnasium, we know that our athletes are burning a lot of energy. And certainly there comes Gatorade to the rescue. Beautiful serve by Bennett. It's kept in play. And that's another point for Knox College. The simple errors from the Wilmerian side is throwing them off their game. Somebody, Jolene Olivia saying, Bennett, you go girl. And Adrian James, you're doing a great job. Joel, keep it up, one Jago. So somebody saying you're doing a great job. So kudos to you, Joel. Oh yes, oh of yes. Of course, the comments are coming in positively, that is. Positively, yes, indeed. Knox, Taylor, with the serve. Oh, it's a beautiful serve, a service ace. The defending champions, Knox, seems like they want to shut it down in this fourth set. Definitely, but Bulmers won't be going away because this one 
won't be as easy as the previous set. Oh yes, Wilmers will be showing their fighting spirit, showing their experience and showing their composure as a top team. Beautiful pass and it's set. A quick push over. So the, tie, the scores are tied now, Joel, for the first time in this uh, matchup. Oh, yes. The, the effort exhibited by Knox College forces Coach Banks to call the timeout because Knox was trailing behind, and now they have brought themselves back leveled at 11. Interesting to note, though, that this, of course, as we go back to the live, let's go, Wilmers. You can do this, Jolene Oliver, Olivia. And Judith Boswell says, you go Knox. Shannon Clark says, this is it Knox. And we have had a lot of comments supporting Knox College. Oh yes, and, and it is expected as defending champions from Clarendon, we'll expect the cohort to be rooting and cheering for their team. But we know that we have a lot of Wilmerians also in the comment sections who will be, who will be cheering for the, the women from Hero Circle. Indeed. Here is now uh, Knox College to serve. Taylor with the serve. A pushover by Kaylee from Wilmers. It's kept in play by Knox. It's set to Tashari. She hits it hard, but it's kept in play by Wilmers. It and was a good block initially. Initially. By Wilmers. Definitely. An initial big block by Wilmers, but Knox kept it in play. So Knox is still at the serving line, they etched one point ahead. They've just got a point off the serve. Let's see what will transpire now, Joel. Oh, yes. Taylor with the serve. Pass by Wilmers. It's set to the outside. Beautiful hit by Patrina. Beautiful hit by Patrina from Wilmers. She's rocking number 11. And that is just showing that the women from Hero Circle are still fighting. They are still in this game and they are not giving up not at all these are the kind of fights that you like to see from players that even when a torrid situation may rock the boat that they remain solid calm and composed oh yes indeed the set from Kaylee was really superb yes that and was drifting left on side of the court and it fell outside of the service area Giving Knox College the point. Indeed, a 13-12. They lead by a point. So, Wilmers getting that point through the service arrow. And a substitution called by the coach, the assistant coach, uh, Coach Barnaby. Zoya coming back on the and on the court. Right. For and Cohen sitting down. Yes. Wilmers. Kaylee the setup with the serve. Beautiful serve. Pass by Taylor. It's set to the middle. Stewart hits it, but she hits it long. Wilmers gets the point. And here we have the dangerous server coming back in there. This time it's uh, number 15, Kaylee Loars, the captain. Oh, how oh, talented she is. Kaylee with the serve. Oh, and it's a kept in play. Oh, it's not kept in play by Zoya. She ran for it. But the serve was too tough for Kaylee. The serve was too tough for Zoya. So, just a two-point advantage now for Wilmers. They Beautiful serve again. Serve. It's kept in play. Let's see what can be done. Pass by Bennett. Set to the outside. And that's that was an extremely good block. Oh, yes. By Knox. Oh, yes. We said her name before. 
Tashari, she's aggressive. Coupled with the middle blocker, Tamaya Stewart, they are letting a ball pass past them. Oh, what a great finish just now by Knox. Wilmers will find a way to respond. We have the captain, Wallace, with the serve, but she serves it outside, giving Wilmers the point. Katrina to the serving line. So Wallace, the captain of, the, of Knox College, must now recognize that these are crucial moments. Oh yes, if they want to shut it down in this fourth set, they need to put the afterburners on and not let Wilmers get into their momentum because if Wilmers gets into the groove, they're a total different team. Very good, very clinical, and very efficient. And showing efficiency at the moment, Wilmers. Every eye is tracking the ball to see where it will land. Oh yes, Patrina, Wilmers number 11 at the serving line. 17 to Knox's 14. Oh, that one was a powerful serve, but a little too long. A little bit too long. In the event you're just joining us, it's Knox versus Wilmers in the Eastern National Under-19 Girls Volleyball Championship Final at GC Foster College. Knox won the first set 25-18. Before Wilmers took the second set 25-22, Knox responded 25-14. In the third set, they lead 2-1. Now in this fourth set, Wilmers are in front 17-15 by just a shadow. We have the ace, Tashari, with the serve. Picked up by Wilmers. It's set to Kaylee. She pushed it over. Sawyer with the pass. The captain sets it. Wilmers with the miscommunication again. Kaylee went for the ball. Giving Knox the point to tie up the contest now. Oh yes, Knox wants to shut it down in this fourth set, but Wilmers wants to push it to the fifth set to carry the trophy to Hero Circle. We have had leads, eight lead changes, but the game has been tied on three occasions, including when it was at 11 all, 11 all, now at 17-17. Oh yes, that was a, a beautiful set by Kaylee, but an attacking error by Bennett from the Wilmerian team giving Knox the advantage. They lead 18 to 17. Beautiful pass set right to the middle. It's a hit, but an attacking error. Knox is stretching the lead. It is Knox. Now by two points. Knox is 19 to Wilmer's 17. Tashari with the serve. Pass by Bennett. Push right over into the apex. Knox defends it really well. Tashari keeps it in play. And the captain gets it over. The Libero keeps it in play. Beautiful hit. And a beautiful block by Knox. It is Tamoya. Tamoya Stewart. Coupled with Tavian Taylor. From uh, Knox College. That gets the block. And a player of uh, Knox. Having some cramps at the moment. That's it looks like Trevian Taylor. And she might be substituted, we wait to see. Yes? And this might be the, the, the area where Wilmers can capitalize because Trevian is actually one of Knox's uh, best attackers. So let us see if Wilmers can capitalize on this substitution. Wow! That was smoking! An extremely fast serve that was! Here is Knox with it once more. Oh, too long! And Bulmers surviving the day. Oh yes, that was a long rally. Everyone was holding their breath when Tashari went up to hit. But she hit it long, giving Wilmers the point. They are crawling back. It is Wilmers 18 to Knox College's 20. And GC Foster College rocking at the moment. Rashida with the serve. Wally sets it. It's kept in play. Kaylee sends it to the outside. Let's see what Benny can do. Oh, and she is just an attacking error. So another attacking error sees Knox College slowly pulling away. If Knox win this set, then this championship final is over. It's Tamoya Stewart from Knox College at the serving line. She serves it. Kept in play by the Wilmerian Libero. It's sent over. Pass by Tashari. Set back to Sahari. She rolls it over. 
Oh, and that's a certain error by Kelly. Another error. Miscommunication. Miscommunication. I think that's, that has been the, the theme of the match. A lot of miscommunication on the court, and that has been costing Woolmers a lot of points. Knox now three points away from being crowned 2024 All Island on the 19 High School Girls Volleyball Champions. The action is at GC Foster College. Let us see if Woolmers can crawl their way back into this. They are no strangers to All Islands. It's a set straight to number two, Kimaro. Kimaro and she hits it long. Kimaro hits it long. Now we have a substitution where Trevi and Taylor, the big attacker from Knox, come back, comes back on the court. Knox, two points away from taking the championship. They lead by two sets to one. This is the fourth set to serve for Knox now. Let's see what Wilmers can do. And that's the service ace. We're on the fringe now, Joel. We're on the fringe. It is deafening inside GC Foster College. Oh, yes, the Knox supporters came from Clarendon with their heart and soul. And they brought with them their drums and vuvuzelas. Oh, yes. We Tamaya. stand now on the fringe of history. Oh, yes. Tamaya Stewart back on the serving line. She has the match point. Let us see if she can take it. Match point. Fall shot. Does it? No! Knox! Knox takes it! Are the champions of 2024! Defeating Woolmers! My oh my! my what a oh grand my. finish, Joel! Oh yes! The defending champions from Clarendon fought real hard and the women from Hero Circle did not give up. They had the fighting spirit but Knox just etched a little bit further and what i like about uh, the wilmerians too is that even though they've lost they've not dropped their shoulders but congratulations to knox in winning this one my oh my it was certainly an exciting final oh yes it was uh knox took it three sets to one but we expected a fifth set game but you know it goes how it goes and the defending champions are the 2024 all island women champions Indeed, the third set certainly was one to write history about because Wilmers was almost done and dusted. They came back and eventually, the second set that is, and eventually they won 25-22. But the writing was always on the wall because the team who made the least mistake would walk away with the championship title. Congrats again to Knox. Oh yes, congrats to Knox College and well fight. Woman's girls.